Ashley Manyakaize. My stage name is Ashley Love. And this is Oreo Love. <laughs> He's my fairy friend. Um, yeah. So the Saturday before we went into lockdown, because I mean COVID was a myth until we started hearing people from here we were, we were actually succumbing to the virus. So the Saturday before, I actually had a function that I had. And so when we went into lockdown on the Monday, I remember I automatically thought, because there wasn't much about it that we knew. So I automatically thought that I have COVID because I was at a gathering and you know how they were saying this there should be less crowds and whatnot and i just thought because i was at a crowd prior to the lockdown i totally have covid like i think i got the symptoms over and over again mm. when there was first of all i think this guy here this guy was one of the biggest coping mechanisms because I wasn't coping, I mean, because of lockdown, because of COVID, you know, so many things started happening. Um, I was trying to go through school. I had I had just gotten married before, traditionally, and then we separated during the COVID. So, like, there was a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. So, I had to exercise. I had to eat better. I had to pray. I had to... Yeah. Yes, I am actually. I don't know if it's fears. I just think it's a matter of when things happen in the world, sometimes we just have to adapt. And being vaccinated was one of them. We just had to adapt to it, so no fears at all. Being a performer, I, I feed off the energy of the people that will be in the crowd. So online has its pros and cons. One of the cons would be the fact that there are no people to feed off the energy. There are no people you can perform to it's just you and the camera so i think that's one of the disadvantages of online but yeah it's got a wider reach i guess um i guess more studio time which is not something i was really used to i liked doing my performances live more so studio time trying to be more serious with the content that I put out there and not just rely on live shows. Yeah. Hello everybody. My name is Ashley Love and um, I'm so happy to be here. So the first song I'm gonna do is something that I did during the times of COVID. It's called Raining. I did it with Black Orient. Um, I hope you enjoy. Take it away, Sam. Now that we've come to the end, I feel like it's raining. Fast approaching 
but there's a silver lining Cause we've come to the things down just a little bit. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
promise of change I've heard that before Sam on keys. Um, you know I'm Jolo, like, hey, sh guys. So anyway, <laughs> for my final song, I'm going to do This World. Um, it's a song from my debut album. Um, I featured Tandy Lana in this song. So yeah, thank you so much for having me prove. Um, thank you so much, Sam, let's go.
salubo nani i kamalami muti zaya moyo uh, I am a poet, I call myself the Freedom Poet and my state name is uh, Moyok Said. So uh, last year 2020 so the coming of this uh, leatherferous lethal pandemic by the name novel coronavirus a COVID-19 and as an artist, as a poet as a performance poet I was uh, affected severely because I engage with people face to face uh, in terms of the audiences uh, shows that I organize so but besides it taught us uh, in the COVID-19 era taught us that we need to be innovative certainly there is things of seven that is going virtual and also to uh, get into the business of recording and documenting our works so last year my my album 2020 was the uh, third album Koroshit. Koroshit uh, is a collection of 25 poems that uh, talked about uh, the COVID-19 era, how COVID-19 affected uh, the people, both those about Pilagashi and those that I consider the poor masses of this world. It also conscientizes people to fight against COVID, uh, how to prevent COVID, how to be safe uh, in the COVID-19 environment. So I recorded 25 poems uh, during that era in COVID-19, that is 2020. Then 2021 this year, uh, of course, last year I was also uh, nominated for the Blue Arts Awards uh, because of uh, this particular album on uh, coronavirus. That was meant to be a source of livelihood because I had to sell uh, my copies and it is available online uh, in the online stores. People will buy my copies there and also I'll, I'll find a way of uh, to survive. Then 2021 COVID-19 did not go. It still uh, was on our shoulders. And what I did 2021, uh, April 18, I recorded another album because I realized that the COVID-19 era brought a lot of challenges to the people of this world. Uh, political challenges, economic challenges, religious challenges, uh, social challenges. We found that even the politicians took advantage of uh, the lockdowns to monopolize, to detain the paces, to oppress. And also, I had to come up with an album, a 20-track uh, album, also tackling on social, economic and religious issues as well as political uh, just to, to, to give hope to the people and also ukuza uh, corruption ukuza abakokela ukuza those who are abusing others and also violating people's rights because of uh, the COVID-19 era then uh, just recently uh, September uh, 2021 uh, I came up with my fifth album uh, Uzeroism Zeroism meant, uh, means that as a people under COVID-19 era, we are doomed to become zeros if we don't rise above uh, the situation, above the pandemic. It means everything that we do comes out to be back to zero. So we needed to be innovative, we needed to be resilient. People needed to push, push for their rights, push, push for their freedoms, push push for their own livelihood and also push to be correct under this new era. Keep themselves safe, sanitizing, keeping social distance, masking up. So that was uh, my main theme uh, under this, uh, my fifth album, Zero Easy. So for me as a poet, uh, I discovered that I had to be at the center of the pandemic to speak to the people, to give hope to the people, to conscientize and push the powers that be here on earth to remember the suffering masses and also to bid farewell to those departed beloved who succumbed to the scourge of um, COVID-19. So the work continues. COVID is here to stay. People need to keep uh, adhering to the World Health Organization stipulations and regulations so that we are safe and we continue to survive as a people and take the weight of art, our voices, forward.
I'm vaccinated. I was one of the first ones to be vaccinated uh, when there was a call for the uh, for those in the arts industry to get vaccinated. So popular there was a call by National Arts Council. I was the first one to be there, uh, part of the first group that was vaccinated, and I'm very happy that there were there were no side effects, and I'm ready to to work because I'm vaccinated and um, I'm conscious about COVID-19. I have to be safe, safe not for myself and also for those that have come by the name of my website, my children, my artists, and as well as my audiences. Yeah, 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 definitely because, you know, lockdowns brought their own uh, limitations in terms of gatherings. So, yes, we managed during those times where the lockdown, yeah, people had to meet maybe 50 or so audiences in those and maybe 100 out of those. So we capitalized on, on such uh, days when COVID-19 was eased. But mostly I had to go virtual, like I'm saying, with the albums, they're also there on online stores and also part participating on various forums that needed uh, creative advocates. So I will participate in virtual platforms uh, or, or Zoom or Facebook Live, uh, even on WhatsApp platforms to, to perform and get myself uh, some sense to survive. They are not the same. Virtual is actually uh, challenging, you know. There are many things that we have to uh, put into consideration. For a large, for a large show, live show, you just advertise and get people coming. But for virtual, you, you need to be virtually correct. You need to have a, a lot of resources, uh, video filming guys, sound guys, you know, better lighting. And also, the audiences need to have uh, a time or data to access platforms where you are performing. So I think we are actually learning as we go and relearning and unlearning those old ways of doing things. So yes, it was challenging, but we have since uh, managed to cope up. I am a viper whose venom vigorously vexes the vast visionless. I slither hither tither in defense of my freedom, mystic poetry. Yes, my name is Desire Moyoxide. I am the freedom poet. I'm going to give you a piece from my 2020 album during the corona pandemic era. It is entitled Coral Sheet. We shall overcome. Dear Coral Lucifer, Coral Diaporos, Coral Pandora, Coral Satan, Coral Devil. Your days are numbered. God is never on holiday. My God is not dead. Coro shit, coro dam, coro swine, coro fracas, coro chaos, coro lockdown, coro China, coro Yuhan. Coro killer, coro sanitize, coro wash your hands, coro touch not your face, coro social distance. Yes. Coro touch not your face, coro lemon, coro sanitizer, coro mask up, coro vaccinate, coro mask up, coro stay home till it's gone. The world shall heal. We shall overcome coro shit. Then uh, in 2021 came this dream about a better world. My next poem is entitled Dear Oda. After realizing that the corona pandemic brought a lot of social discord. And those meant to protect the people, the citizens, the world citizens then became corrupt and otherwise lost the med, the order thinking. Dear order, just be careful this order doesn't become the order of the day during this lockdown. Help us to restore security and observe fundamental human rights and freedoms. Till this COVID disorder is set on the order of the day. Dear order, let me call to order, order, so that everyone behaves in order, orderly. I applaud the presence of the police and the security guards in the streets, but in terms of wholly against the abuse of authority. The, the abuse of unwarranted force on the citizens to restore order. The The 
The poor nation of ours cannot fight the two pull evils. The police brutality and of course the pandemic corruption. Dear COVID-19, let's desanitize our minds and tendencies. It must be the police maintaining order, not order called upon to maintain the police. We are all under shock and terror in the eyes and the eyeballs of this corofracas, dreadful pandemic the world over. Even in the Nebasa, I need us to be in a united force. Let's stay at home till it's gone. And for the police, I say, let's give service and protection to the people in absolute order to maintain order. Yes, till it's gone. Telling the truth is my choice to let me get drunk in it to maintain order. Thank you. My final poem is entitled No Coconut, No Cucumber. Massacres, mass action, mass destruction, mass prayer, mass bambaneni. Poverty, politics, prostitution, propaganda, po. Sibambe P, hunger, hatred, humiliation, hooliganism, ha, Sikambe P, corruption, corona, conflict, chaos, no coconuts, no cucumber. Kanye, Kona Gwenzagalani, Koluzalitini. It's our country, shortages, shootings, shortcomings, shambles, shit, Siasha. Robert, Robert. Liars and deluders, no cucumbers, no coconuts, no coconuts, no, coconuts, no cucumber, Koroswain. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, in and around the city of King Zubuti. Which um, Bulawayo artists do they know? What songs do they know? Who would they pay to watch on stage? Is it in general? So we're just walking uh, along Lopengula Street. Say, I'm supposed to have to go pay. Um, someone who would be a wazidi. I'm an artist. I'm a wazidi. Say, what's your name? Yeah, I'm a wazidi. Yeah, I'm a wazidi. 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 I <laughs> 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 Non, tu vises la Okay, when you Chase, <laughs> 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 I
in terms of e music also i think i a local is there any music i think i have no i don't want to lie my friend I might oh, have put let's, maybe, that. maybe let's speak in English. I don't know. In English? Yeah, yeah you haven't put anything. Sorry? You haven't put anything from uh, Blawai artists. No, no, no. Oh. Even, even not in Blawai only. Okay. Even uh, in Zimbabwe. Ah. Okay. I'm not so would you pay to watch Love Mama Jaivana since he's the only artist you know? Much I would. Yes, I would I happily do so, my man. Because yes. you know those guys? That guy is a legend. You know, you know, you know. We love him. The difference between Mighty. those guys. And uh, the music the today, those guys, they had the depth in okay. whatever they were doing. All right. mm. So the problem nowadays, they just want money, something fast, money, fast, money. they produce, they produce. And it's just you have to take time and do something to detail. Right. That's how you end up making better music and you can actually go outside the country and export your music. But how, how? just focusing on just entertaining just a small group around here, you won't go very far. All right. Uh, how much would you pay to watch Love Mama Five. Five. Uh, anything between uh, five to fifteen dollars would be reasonable. Yeah, depending Five. on how much I've got at that moment. Five. But I mean, I, they deserve that. Okay. And then what channels Five. are you on? Uh, social media, Google, WhatsApp, blah, 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 Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Which ones are you on? Uh, I'm normally on. Uh, I'm using YouTube. I'm using WhatsApp. Yeah. Do you watch a lot of local music on YouTube? No. It doesn't. Uh, as I told you, I'm not much into, into local music. music. I need to be honest, I don't want to lie to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not much into music these days. This guy I think it's because of age. I used to follow music a lot, but because of age, I'm not following like these youngsters. Okay. But w when I listen to music, I normally listen for listen good music. To good music. Yes. And normally the Whether the house is quiet or what is very good. As long as the No, thank you very much, my brother. Thanks, my brother. Cool, cool. Clearly the um, the adults are not interested in the young music. Yeah. So maybe we'll need to find um his perspective. Obviously you could see the people that adults know is the older artists. Which means uh, 
we may have a problem convincing the older generation into liking the young music. I think that is where the work is. But in any case, we can find younger people yes, and uh, right. hear, hear their two cents. Um, and then we can make our comparisons from there. Yeah. Right. Younger people now.